What's up everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. No, I have absolutely no idea what voice that was. Okay, so anyway, today we're going to go to Lower Undeadburg, take on the Capra Demon, talk to some NPCs in Violent Shrine, see if we can get some action down there from the ladies. Then we're going to go head back to the depths and end the video there. Now, there is a way to make it across this bridge without the freaking dragon burning you, but I'm lazy, so we're just going to take the damage. Basically, just rest at the bonfire underneath him, run out till he attacks you, get to a safe spot, boom back to the bonfire, he will fly away, and then you can just merrily make your way across the bridge with no freaking damage. But like I said, I'm lazy! Okay, so we're gonna want some poise down here, so we're gonna tank up in our Elite Knight armor set. Plus, it looks absolutely badass. Right, so before we do anything else, we want to go up here and open up this shortcut. This will lead us right back to the bonfire where we began the episode. That's why I figured that was a good place to rest, and I didn't bother going underneath the dragon, because I don't really want to respawn there if I die. Speaking of dying, jump attack! Oh god, I missed. I've whiffed it. Die. There we go. Ooh. Dude on the roof, firebomb me. Nice shot, buddy. Nice shot. Right, so now that's done, if we die, we just have to run across the bridge, go through the gate, and we are basically back here. fan freaking chastic Right, so now we have a few dogs to deal with down here. These guys are pricks because they jump around all over the place. Jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up, and get ya. Die! There we go. So, uh, the best way to take them out is just to hold up your shield, keep backing up. When they do their jump attack, you can just smack them in midair, and they won't hit you because you'll be too far away. Just like that. Boom, son! Right, so there is an ambush here. Jump attack. You can take the first two dudes out before they burst out on you, but the third one will burst out before you get there. And they're pretty dangerous, so I don't suggest you dick around with them. They have a lot of bleed on their weapons, they have a pretty strong backstab, they tend to parry you a lot, and they have throwing knives. Okay, so here we pick up the Mail Breaker. It's a pretty quick dex weapon, kind of like a rapier. In fact, it may very well just be a rapier. But there are many better rapiers in the game. It's kind of shit, I don't suggest you Somebody, use that one. Please, let me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. Damn right you're finished. Ever. See ya, jerk ass. No, I'm kidding. Let's let him out. If you're going to play as a mage, you're going to want to save this dude. He will sell you your first spells of the game. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Okay, so we pick up the Dark Sorceress set here, as well as the Sorceress Catalyst. Now, just down here, oh by the way, you will need the Residence Key to open that guy's door. The Master Key does not do it. Remember that, that is why we bought it in the first place. Okay, so here are the Torch Hollows I mentioned probably in the first video. They have one of the most deadly attacks in the game. They sort of run at you and wave it back and forth. If you don't block that, You'll probably die. There is no freaking question that it would one-hit our character. It doesn't matter what we're wearing, that attack right there. Yeah. You do not want to get hit by that when you're not blocking. Holy shit does it do a lot of damage. Right, so now we've done that, we can head down here towards the Capra Demon. But first, of course, there are some more enemies on the way, and there's some more booty. And we like booty. There's kind of an ambush down here, but it's nowhere near as dangerous as the previous one because these guys burst out in front of you as opposed to behind you, so yeah. However, these guys have some dogs with them, so that's why we're tanked up in poise gear because we can take a hit or two and not get staggered and just beaten the crap out of by everyone. That is very, very handy, and that is why poise is extremely important, right? I believe there's one more dog over yonder. There you are. Come at me, Fido. Die. Fantastic. Right, so there's another dude around here. Where is he? Oh, he's up there! He's stuck in the building. I have never seen this bug before. Probably a cause of the 60 FPS patch. Right, so uh, let's just see if we can kill him, shall we? There's not really any point, but we may as well. Die! There we go. Fantastic. And he dropped us nothing. What a scumbag. Okay, so over here we get the Thief Armor set, which looks absolutely badass. And it has really good bleed and poison resistance. So it's a bloody good set of armor. It has no poise, however. So that's a pretty big downside, unless you're good at rolling. Anyway, so just through that fog gate, that will take us to the Capra Demon. But before we go there, we are going to want to open up the shortcut down here that will link us back to Firelink Shrine. Yes, link us back to Firelink Shrine. It is not a coincidence. 
that it is called Final Lake Shrine. Jump attack, and you are defeated, sir. Also, just up here, we will find a new merchant, and she has some stuff that she is the only person in the entire game that sells it. So she is a very, very important NPC. By the way, the target shield that we picked up with the Thief Armor set, it has a bigger parrying window than anything else. So it's a good shield for parrying, but not for actual blocking. This is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. I gotta be honest, as creepy as she is, I kind of like this old bitch. Right, so we're going to buy some blooming purple moss clumps, and you know what, we'll buy one regular purple. We're going to also buy some charcoal pine resin, because that will coat our weapon in fire, and that is very handy. Now, most people like to buy poison arrows from her, I'm not going to. Poison arrows, as you would imagine, are useful for poisoning enemies at a distance. I don't really like to deploy that tactic, it takes a hell of a long time and I'm lazy. And we can't even wield a bow and arrow properly on this character because we are never going to have enough dexterity because we're level 1. Right, that'll take us back to Final Shrine. Now, really, I should go back and rest there to get my Estus back up to 10. But I'm lazy and I can't be bothered. So we're just going to try it with 3 Estus and hope we don't die. Okay, are you ready? It's Capra Demon time, and this time, it's personal. Right, so we're going to put our armor back onto what we had before so that we have good movement speed and also pretty ding dang diddly ding dong decent poise. And we're going to coat our weapon in fire, because we're going to burn some stuff. You're mine, Capra Demon. You're mine. Right, so our focus here is that we want to take out the f Oh, God! We want to take out the dogs first, screw the Capra Demon, ignore him, he's a complete pussy. Gah! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. There we go, the dogs are dead. You are a pussy. Come here, buddy. That's right. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was the hard part over and done with. The dogs will get you killed very quick if you don't kill them quickly enough. Right, so as long as I don't botch it horribly here, we should be okay, because there's a reason... Oh, God. You know, it didn't get staggered, though. That's poise for you. There's a reason I call this dude the crap redeeming, because he's crap. Shit. Okay, we're fine. There's another thing you can do to take out the dogs. You can run up the staircase, and as they come at you one by one, you can take them out with either spells or fireballs, or just, you know, club them across the head by Rob Duggan. Oh, holy crap, will you stop doing that jump attack? That's my job. I do jump attacks. I love the fire on the weapon. It looks awesome. Okay, one more hit. Jump attack. Victory achieved, and the Capra Demon has been defeated. And we are almost dead ourselves. That was down to the wire. We really need to go back to Violent Shrine to get some Estus back, which is convenient because we have to go back there and talk to our newly found buddy Griggs of Vinheim and whoever the hell else we found that I may have forgotten about. We, yeah, I guess we'll do that now. Right, I'll see you back at Violent Shrine. Jump attack! Oh, you moved, you've ruined it all! There we go, jump attack. Right, screw the dude in armor. Okay, so we're basically back to where Griggs of Inheim is. There he is, our good friend, except he's not really. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Regret Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I'm happy to teach you some elementary spells. Okay, so if you have I'm 10 intelligence, he will ask if you want to learn some stuff, and you say yes. Very well. Yes! I'm pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. And in case you hadn't noticed by this point, every single person in Dark Souls is incredibly English. 
Right, so he has some good rings. They will boost your magic damage and how long your magic spells last. If you are going to make a mage build, you want the Bellowing Dragon Crest ring. I think it boosts your magic damage by 33 freaking percent, which is actually quite a lot. Right, again, I'm going to go head back to where the door is next to uh, where we killed the Capra Demon, and I'll see you there. What up, bros? Right, let's head down to the murky depths of hell. Where death awaits us. Uh, it's not that dangerous down here. There's a couple of really dangerous NPCs, but in general, this is probably easier than lower on Deadburg, where we just were. In my opinion, there are no... Uh, actually, no, no, there are. I was about to say there's no dogs down here, but there are. I'm a dirty, dirty liar. I'm a scumbag. Right, so what's this? A large soul of something? Yes, a large soul of a nameless soldier. Oh, how did you hit me? That was bullshit. I call shenanigans. Right, so we are about to take on a couple of dudes known, or dudesses, as it were, known as the butchers. You can see one down there. Oh, I destroyed the table. Crap. You can roll onto the table and run and jump over the barricade if you want a shortcut, but it ain't gonna do you much good. I don't. Oh, don't do that charge attack, buddy. Don't you do it. Ah, die. Yeah, I don't suggest you take that. There's kind of no point. And yeah, with these guys, we're going to be very, very careful. You always want to block an encounter. Do not just attack them outright, because uh, one day they're going to surprise you with that freaking charge attack. And it's nasty. Right, so we're going to jump attack. Surprise, bitch. Guy didn't even know what hit him. Right, we're going to fireball this dog. This one doesn't respawn. I have no idea why. It just doesn't. Okay, so this is the first butcher. There's two of them. They do not respawn. They're fairly easy to parry. That's probably the easiest way to take them out. Parry, and oh, I screwed it up. <laughs> like, yeah, easy to parry, screws it up, nearly dies. Nice. But yeah, you know, when you don't screw it up, they're fairly easy to parry. Okay, I don't think you can parry that attack, and I've never tried, because I don't think you can. So, uh, yeah, not going to do that. But you'll just die. And I know most people that are into Dark Souls know this already, but apparently these butchers are actually female. Even though all signs point to them being female, but yeah, apparently it's been confirmed in several developer interviews. Take that as you will. Right, so over here we get a very, very important item, the Large Ember. That will allow us to upgrade our weapon from plus 5 to plus 10. Down there is a shortcut to a shield. A pretty damn useful shield. We're going to get that later, not now. Jump attack. And jump attack. Good lord, do I love the freaking Club of Doom by Rob Duggan. Come here. Come at me, bro. There we go. Right, so we are about to find a new... Oh, we absorbed a humanity. Nice. We're about to find a new NPC called Pyro Bro. That's not really his name, but that's what I'm going to call him. And we have an NPC up here on the rafters. Oh, look. It's another freaking butcher. You're not going to surprise me, bitch. Surprise, bitch. Parry? What is with that attack? It just goes through me. Oh, okay. Backstab. There we go. Die. Dance of death. Are you dead? Oh, you're not. That's not a dance of death at all. Right, so this one will always drop the sack if you don't get it from the first one. The sack is just, as you would think, a sack that you can wear on your head and look absolutely ridiculous. Over here, go blimey, governor. <laughs> Thank you. I would have been in supper without you. Been eating the line. I shut up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dearly. I am Luensius. Or the great swamp. I will not forget my debt to you. Yes, you will. People always forget their debt to me, ungrateful bastards. Right, so anyway, you notice how he said, I would have been her supper without your help. Apparently, he's talking about the butcher on the rafters. I just don't know how to feel about that, man. I know it's been confirmed, but they look like dudes. Lady looks like a dude. Right, so we have another ambush here. You need to get... Oh, God, mash the buns. Mash the buns. Okay. 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 I was gonna say, if you're quick, you can make it drop on your head and move out of the way before it actually lands on you. Clearly, I was not quick enough, and it is not worth it to die there. And it will kill you unless you have very, very high HP or you mash the buttons quick enough. And we do not have very, very high HP. We have very, very, very low HP indeed. Right, there's a bunch more of them here, but these ones will drop off before you get underneath them, unless you run really, really quick. So, as long as you take your time through this bit, you should be fine. Right, so this is why we bought the charcoal pine resin. We can coat our weapon in fire and go to town on these mofos, because these blob dudes are extremely resistant to physical attacks. 
you can still kill them easily enough, it just takes a long time and it's boring, so just to speed things up we have Charcoal Pine Resin. I could throw my fireballs, but I don't want to waste it on these guys. We do have a bonfire pretty damn close, but we gotta do some stuff before we get there. Come at me, bro. Jai, fantastic. Right, that door on the right will take us to the bonfire. If you have the master key, you can just go in there right away, but we don't. So we're gonna have to get the actual legitimate key, which isn't very far in here. So it's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, don't poison me. Don't po Oh, he poisoned me, you dick. Right, so over here we get the Great Axe. That is a very good strength weapon. But we're not using a strength glass, and we couldn't equip it anyway. Jai. I said Jai. There we go. These dudes can drop humanity. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that already. People wonder why they can't. Apparently it's because they were supposed to be feeding on the dead bodies of humans, and that's how they got it. Yes, it is disgusting, because humanity is kind of parts of people. I know. It's Dark Souls, man. It's called Dark Souls for a reason. Hello, giant rats. Right, so that is the key that we need to open up the door to get to the bonfire. Okay, so there's the bonfire. Now you're gonna think I'm completely insane and you're right I am, but not for this reason. We are not gonna rest at that bonfire, we're gonna bone back to Phylinx Shrine and then just run all the way back down here again. The reason for this is because either way we're gonna have to make two trips. Plus, I want to go get the shield that's down the shortcut by the first butcher that I pointed out. Plus, our good friend Pyro Bro is here, the super English Pyro Bro. And uh, he has some very useful stuff that we're going to want to buy from him. Plus, if you don't buy... Wait a minute, where the hell am I going? If you don't begin as the Pyromancer class, well, you won't get the Pyromancy hand. handed to you yeah, now. I've he will give it to you. Too. I have my Pyromancy as a great swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it, all you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magics unsavory. Okay, when he asks you this question, yeah, make sure wonderful. you say no. I'm sure that, you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Why, well, let's get started right now. Well then, geezer, let's get started. Right, we're gonna buy combustion, because it's really useful. Then we're gonna upgrade our pyromancy hand, because, uh, the more we upgrade it, the more fire damage it'll do, right? And we're gonna need it at plus ten to talk to an important NPC that otherwise right. won't show up. I'm back if you find anything new. Cheers, Pyro Bro. I'm a freaking idiot. Right, anyway, we're gonna use some of our soul consumables so that we can get enough to hopefully get our hand to plus ten, cause the sooner the better, really, cause I don't wanna have to come back here again, cause it'll be bloody inconvenient. Okay, we have plus nine, we need another twelve thousand. I'm going to use the rest of our soul consumed balls, see if we have enough. If not, I might go to the graveyard and farm some skeletons there. We'll see, honey. We'll see. Okay, did not even get to 5,000. That is nowhere near enough. Screw that noise. Right, let's head back down to the depths, and I will cut you back in when I get to where the shortcut was, because we're going to drop down there and get our shield, and find some more interesting stuff. Okie dokie, we're back. Die, table! Look at the size of the meat on there, that's disgusting, what the hell is he cutting up? Right, so anyway, over here we can get the spider shield. Now, the spider shield is extremely useful, because normally when you block with the shield, you still get a little bit of poison build up. So, if you keep blocking poison attacks, eventually you're going to get poisoned anyway, but not with the spider shield. And the same counts for toxin. It will completely block it as long as you have your shield raised. It is extremely useful for the next area of the game, after the dips. Jump attack! Oh crap, I screwed it up. Okay, this rat hits really, really, really hard, but he is mostly dead. One more hit will do it. I can't even see myself. There we go. Giant Rat has been defeated. And yes, as you would imagine, Giant Rat Buddy is indeed a mini-boss and will not respawn. Right, so if you go down the opposite end here, next to where the Giant Rat was, you can drop off and it's a shortcut right to the end of the depths. However, I do not suggest you do that because there is some really freaking good booty down here. And we like booty, if there's one thing we like. It's booty. Plus, I've got to go back and rest at the, uh, the bonfire, because we still haven't. There's a couple of things we need to do here as well. There's a mage, and if you don't kill the mage, he will buff the boss and shoot at you whilst you're fighting the boss, and it will make life a living freaking hell for you. Die, blob thing! There we go. Right, so I think we've pretty much cleared out this floor. Then we're going to have to drop down one of these holes when we want to continue, but we're not going to do that just yet, because like I say... We're going to want to go and hit up the bonfire. There's something I'm looking for. I know we're missing something. But for the life of me, I cannot remember where the hell it is. 
Come along, rat buddy, you and me. Yes, there we go. He even made it across the gap. Where is it? Oh, there it is, right. Now, the mage is just around this corner, however, he's pretty ding dang diddly ding dong dangerous. And if he kills me now, I've got to run all the way back down here again, and I don't want to have to do that. So we're going to go back to the bonfire first, I think we'll end the video there. Then next video, we'll take on the mage, beat the boss, and then move on to Blight Town. Oh good lord, Blight Town. If you've never seen Blight Town before, basically it's pitch black, you can fall to your death pretty much anywhere, it's full of tough monsters and poison and all sorts of crazy crap like that. It's a hell of a lot of fun though, I enjoy it. I died a hell of a lot the first time I played it though. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I always appreciate a like, and I will see you guys next time for more Dark Souls.